The Heart of Horsemanship Curriculum by Leslie Cook presents Pole, Crest, Throat Latch, Jaw, and Cheekbone, Module 3, Video 2, as part of Horse Anatomy, Level 1. Pole. The pole is the area of the horse's skull that is right in between their ears. We spell it P-O-L-L. -L. It actually does form a little bump in between their ears that kind of feel like a goose egg. Since the horse's head is often held higher than their body, and the pole is at the top of their heads, I like to remember this anatomy part by thinking of the North Pole on our Earth. The pole is at the top. Here, this kid is putting the halter strap over the horse's pole behind the ears. The height the horse carries their pole is important to reading their body language, and also in technicalities of horseback riding. You'll learn a lot more about that in all of our horse training videos and horse language level one. In review, the pole, P-O-L-L, -L, of the horse is the area at the top of their head and neck going between the ears. Crest. The crest is a part of the neck of the horse. It is the upper ridge of the neck that can help the neck form what looks like an arch. All horses have a crest, even if some are more noticeable and some are not. The crest can be used to help assess the body condition and health of each horse, but this takes a professional eye to assess the whole horse. A horse with a large fatty crest, like the horse in front here, Callie, is generally said to be obese and unhealthy. We have had to curb off laminitis with her and also manage her thyroid levels, but she is in perfect health in these videos and we know how to keep her that way. The crest alone cannot tell you about the whole health of a horse, but it can be helpful. When a wave does this, the top of the wave is called the crest. You can see how the crest of the wave is similar to how the horse's neck can curve over and down, the crest helping make that beautiful arch. Review, the crest is the top ridge of the neck. It lends to the shape of a horse's neck. In most cases, but not all, it can help you understand the weight and body condition of the horse. Throat latch. The throat latch is the throat of the horse. It latches the neck to the head. The horse's throat latch can extend and contract quite a good distance. The windpipe travels through the throat latch. Horses can get swollen glands like we can in our throats, and they would appear here. The throat latch is right behind the round cheeks of the horse. The name throat latch is also a part of a horse's bridle. It is the strap that goes underneath the cheeks. You can remember that for when you learn bridle anatomy in level 2 curriculum materials. Jaw the jawbone is very long on the horse, going from the front of the cheek to the chin. The entire jaw does not have teeth growing from it like our jaws do. Horses have a gap with no teeth in their mouths, and this is where the bit of a bridle goes, in between the molars and incisors and over the tongue. The horse's lower jaw moves in a circular motion to grind their food. Here is Sassy shamelessly chewing her huge mouthful of yummy grass. Watch her lower jaw move in a circular motion. That's the jaw of the horse, the long bone on their face between the cheek and the chin. Cheekbones. The cheekbones are the prominent bones on the outside edges of the horse's face when looking at them from the front, just like ours. Ours are below the eye and right above the round cheek. You can see the cheekbones on the horse from the side of their faces as well. There it is on the top of the round cheek and below the eye. Knowing the cheekbone is important for when you learn how to fit halters and bridles to the horse's face. Great job learning five more horse anatomy names. You learned pole, crest, throat latch, jaw, and cheekbone. Make sure to look for our quizzes and ways to earn certificates and pins by showing us your knowledge. Also, check out our curriculum activity box for horse anatomy. See you in the next video.